Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Sai Ganesh, and we gotta talk about the Cybertruck. This thing was to be the future. You know, Tesla, changing the game again. But now, it's facing a major setback. A massive recall. We're talking about potentially thousands of trucks, and it's got everyone wondering, what went wrong? So, in this video, we're diving deep into the seven most shocking problems plaguing the Cybertruck. Buckle up, because this is going to be a wild ride. Let's start with something crucial. The windshield wipers. Tesla's unique single-blade design sounds cool, right? Less drag, futuristic vibes. But in practice, not so much. Owners complain about erratic movement and inconsistent wiping. This is about drivers seeing where they're going. Imagine cruising in heavy rain and your wiper fails. Tesla needs a fix, fast. Right now it's a wipeout. Okay, so we've talked about the Cybertruck's unique windshield wiper, but now let's move on to the build quality. Some Cybertrucks seem to be literally falling apart. Loose trim, misaligned panels, and even parts detaching while driving. This is a brand new, expensive vehicle. Panels flying off is incredibly dangerous. Some say it's a new design with early production hiccups. But Tesla is supposed to lead in electric vehicles. This raises serious concerns about Tesla's manufacturing. They need to step up their game. We've covered a wonky windshield wiper and some questionable build quality. Now let's talk about the accelerator pedal. Reports say it can get stuck or trapped under the floor mat. Imagine trying to slow down, but the car keeps accelerating. This is a potentially life-threatening safety issue. Tesla needs to address this immediately. Safety should always come first. So we've talked about issues with the Cybertruck's windshield wiper, build quality and accelerator pedal. But the problems don't stop there. Let's talk about the suspension because it seems like the Cybertruck's ride isn't as smooth as its design. Owners have been reporting all sorts of suspension problems, from creaking noises and excessive body roll to premature wear and tear on suspension components. It's like the Cybertruck's suspension just wasn't designed to handle the weight and power of this beast. There's a difference between a firm ride and a suspension that feels like it's about to fall apart. Did they not properly test the Cybertruck's suspension under real-world conditions? Did they cut corners to save costs? Whatever the reason, it's clear that the Cybertruck's suspension needs some serious work. Tesla needs to figure out what's going on with the suspension and issue a recall to fix it. We all know Tesla loves to pack its vehicles with tech, and the Cybertruck is no exception. But all that tech doesn't mean much if it doesn't work properly, right? And unfortunately, that seems to be a recurring theme with the Cybertruck. Owners have been reporting all sorts of electronic glitches from the touchscreen interface freezing to exterior lights malfunctioning and power windows becoming unresponsive. It's like the Cybertruck's software is still in beta testing, but unfortunately for owners, they're the beta testers. Now I get it, software glitches happen. But the frequency and severity of the glitches reported by Cybertruck owners is concerning, to say the least. Tesla needs to take these software issues seriously and work quickly to resolve them. Because in a vehicle that relies so heavily on technology, software glitches can be more than just an annoyance. They can be a safety hazard. All right, let's move on to another problem that's plaguing the Cybertruck. Water leaks. The truck that's supposed to be built like a tank can't even keep the rain out. Owners have been reporting water leaks in the cabin and frunk, which is pretty much the last thing you want to see in a brand new vehicle, especially one that costs as much as the Cybertruck. Not only is it annoying to have water dripping on you while you're driving, but it can also lead to serious problems down the line, like mold, mildew, and damage to the vehicle's electronics. Tesla needs to get to the bottom of these water leaks and figure out how to fix them. Because right now, it seems like the only thing waterproof about the Cybertruck is its reputation for being controversial. So we've covered a lot of ground in this video, from windshield wiper malfunctions and loose trim to accelerator pedal issues and water leaks. Overall, there seems to be a general sense of disappointment with the Cybertruck's build quality. 
Owners have reported everything from misaligned panels and inconsistent gaps to subpar paint finishes and rattles and squeaks coming from the interior. It's like the Cybertruck was rushed into production before it was truly ready. Now I know that Tesla is known for its innovative designs and cutting edge technology, but innovation shouldn't come at the expense of quality. Tesla needs to step up its game and make sure that the Cybertruck lives up to the hype, not just in terms of its performance and features, but also in terms of its build quality. So there you have it, seven shocking problems with the Tesla Cybertruck recall. It's clear that this highly anticipated electric truck has hit a few bumps in the road, and it's going to take some serious effort from Tesla to get things back on track. The issues we've discussed today raise serious questions about Tesla's quality control processes and its ability to deliver on its promises. The road ahead for the Cybertruck is uncertain, but one thing is clear. Tesla needs to take swift and decisive action to regain the trust of its customers and ensure the safety of its vehicles. What are your thoughts on the Cybertruck recall? Do you believe Tesla can overcome these challenges and deliver a truly revolutionary electric truck? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more in-depth analyses of the latest automotive news.